I'm old enough to remember several times when low and no alcohol beer was going to be the next big thing. Uh, and every single time it failed, uh, mainly because the products were bloody horrible. Um, and it's different this time. Uh, I saw a presentation last year uh, from um, CGA uh, data. Uh, and in the last four years, low and no alcohol as a sector has increased by 150%, uh, which it's never, ever done before in its history. Uh, this time, it really is here to stay. Part of the reason for that is that the technology's improved. I'm going to hear from some producers uh, today about why that is and the fact that you can now make low alcohol beers and they actually taste like beer as opposed to something else. Uh, and also because, as we know, consumer demand is changing. Uh, there's a lot more people looking to regulate and moderate their alcohol consumption and a lot of people uh, who don't want to drink at all. Uh, pubs still need to talk to these people, engage these people if they want to prosper. Uh, and also, beer's got a lot to offer rather than just the, al than just the alcohol. So uh, we're going to be hearing a lot more about that as well.